that's one of the most important but least enjoyed aspects of many people's working life. Making mm. a presentation, whether it's to colleagues or customers, can be a very terrifying prospect. But therein lies the business opportunity for M11, the founder of Presenting to Sell and the author of a new book on the art of the perfect presentation. Emma, you know, as I mentioned, for a lot of people, this is probably the worst thing they're going to be faced with in their working life or even before they begin their working life, going in, in an interview setting or having to make a, pre a presentation to prospective employers. What are the secrets? Well, I think the number one secret is you have to do it. Um, you know, we go through school and we go through college and we get all this data and we learn to write, don't we? But nobody teaches us how to actually stand up and how to present. So what happens is you find yourself as a graduate trying to get a job. Um, you find yourself in business maybe 10 years and suddenly you have to sort of sell to a customer or you find yourself maybe out of business or out of work as a lot of people are at the moment and either changing careers, upskilling and suddenly they have to present and they have never ever done this and that's the big challenge and that's why they're lacking confidence they don't know how to do it and they haven't done it so the first thing to know is it's it's completely normal and natural to feel uncomfortable and nervous if it's a skill that you haven't gotten yet um, so once you know that the next step is preparation 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 fail to prepare prepare to fail that is I guess the secret with this, um, you really have to prepare before you get to the part where you stand up. I think for a lot of people it's it's the standing up bit, it's the going live, it's the having to talk. But if you have done the preparation work before that, it will work. You will be able to do it and it will be a success. When you talk about preparation, one of the, the yeah. curses of modern business life is almost an over-prepared presentation where you have people who are hugely, hugely reliant on visual aids, on PowerPoint, and it becomes a snooze fest. Is that one of the no-nos, or if no-nos there are? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's funny that you say that. I meet a lot of people and they say to me, Emma, I do prepare, I do prepare. But what they're actually doing is they are preparing slides. And that's all they're preparing. And these slides kind of could be a written document. They're kind of their own notes. They're kind of a report. And slides are not a presentation. You have to actually prepare to speak. So people will say to me all the time, oh, Emma, I do prepare in my head. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, your head is like the worst place to prepare. Because you know this from TV. You have to practice that loud, don't you? And I don't think people see that. People look at someone like you or look at someone like Keelan and think, oh, they just come into a studio and they just speak. But that's not true. You practice, don't you? And you rehearse. You do. Yeah, course, yes. <laughs> yes. So I, I think people need to know that you do have to practice and you do have to rehearse and you have to speak it out loud before you do it for real. And, yeah. and that's the preparation. You're a professional presenter. I'm sure a lot of people watching will remember you from the den yeah, back maybe. in the day. I guess if you can deal with Dustin, you can deal with anything. But um, are there people who, who shouldn't be presenting or, or people who you would advise maybe to steer clear of it if they, if they can avoid it? Do you know, that's genuinely not, not what I see and not what I believe. You know, the ability to communicate, the ability to engage, the ability to get your data across in an engaging way, anybody can do that. It is the skill of communication. Is it easier for some people? Definitely. You know, there's people that have done debating in school, speech and drama. They definitely take to it more easily. But do they still have to do the same preparation? Oh, my, 100%. Yeah. And Absolutely. a good start, obviously, is to read the book. And you have yes. a copy with you if, if you I, want to hold I it do. up there. It, it's, called, <laughs> it's called the presentation book. It's, it's quite short. Actually, so it's something that you should be able to get yourself through. But one, what's your one key takeaway from it, then? What should people be looking for, and what should they take away from the book? Take a big step back from the slides and think about your audience. Think about creating a really positive experience for them. And in turn you will get what you want from yeah. the presentation. And it sounds like you're off to a good start anyway. I think it was W.H. Smith, Book of the Month in the UK. So uh, hopefully it goes well for you. M11, thanks very much for coming into us this morning. Thank you so much.